Yes. Um, there's still a few hands up in the call queue. Uh, I don't want to keep you on too long, Rev, because I know you don't do the late hours. But, um, <laughs> no, I don't. I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll tough it out till this uh, for a few more minutes. Okay. All right. Let me go directly into the calls. Caller from four six nine eight five three. Peace. Yeah, this be again, man. Uh, I was go uh, ask you. I'm down here in the south, you know. Ain't ain't too many people just on on the level. I'm and I'm, I'm young to be. Yeah, you know. I'm and I'm 23. You know, I'm kind of young to be into this, but I ain't no age to this. But I was I was gonna ask y'all. Y'all know any any like people y'all can plug me into down here? Cause it's scary and down I, here. Okay, where you at, brother? I'm in Fort Worth. I'm 30 minutes away from Dallas. Where's the best? I want to share something with you that has worked uh, for other individuals who live in small towns who are not connected in the network in their town, but they're connected in the social network on the Internet. Yeah. What you could do is through Facebook or through what they call meetings.com, if um you could put out, you could create, let's just say that you create an event that you might have to finance, we're talking about $100 or $200 where you get a room and you get a projector, right, and you create an event based on what's going on in today's top, today's news, like the, the, the you know, disaster preparedness or, you know, what's going on around the world, you know what I'm saying, things like that. And what you could do is you could get a video, like a DVD, or you could get a title, something that somebody is building on, and actually invite people out, make it a free event, and just show the video. You could actually show one of the one of uh, Dr. Phil's classics. People, we have yeah, to start creating this shit, social. Bro. Yeah, we have to create social gatherings, and through meditation and through positive thought create this atmosphere around us where, where you know, people of your age and people of, you know, cut from the same cloth that you're cut from will begin to actually materialize and come into your circumference. Like my brother explained, I come from the generations where we were at the Dr. Phil's lectures and we were, on, we were like one of the only five people in the audience that were under 40. Yeah. And, and, and in our minds, though, and in our hearts, we set to ourselves, we want this to expand. We know that there's more people in our age that this thing will attach itself to. And, you know, fast forward to 2011, the places are jam-packed with individuals that are of our age bracket. So my thing is when you put the information out there, the information has a power of waking people up and, 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 and bringing them in. And there's so yeah, many topics yeah. in, in, in the news nowadays that even if people are, uh, are sleepwalking, knuckle-dragging, they are going to react, you understand, yeah. to some of these people topics. Waking up. People are definitely waking up. And even if you got to spoon-feed them, like, uh, you know, maybe you could just begin to spoon-feed them. Like, the History Channel waking motherfuckers up alone. The history, it, they, there you they go. They're stealing a lot of shit lately. There you what I'm go. saying is... Yeah, what you can do that's very easy is to have screenings of these DVDs, you know what I'm saying? Like, have a um, a Reverend Phil night where you play one or two of the DVDs, you know, not, not the 11-hour ones, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I, I don't, only, only let people listen to Phil who scrub business with their shit because if they now I ain't, I ain't even going to bother. Exactly. Okay. And, and what we're actually doing by forming these websites that are going to be the central, the one-stop shop, the central the central hubs, is we're going to create an atmosphere where brothers like you could hit the website up, holler at us, let us know what you're doing, and we're going to work it out where we take care of that. that like we're trying to create different, you know, circles, different, like how we had in New York, the um, LIU, the MU, the under metaphysical underground, I truly feel in my heart that that's supposed to, that that's supposed to evolve and move into other different states. Oh, yeah, and I was about to say, tell, tell the big homies to stop beefing on that knowledge shit, man. That shit ain't cool. <laughs> see, I, I know you up, I'm just saying, whoever up there beefing with oh, their knowledge oh. flexes, 
That oh, shit yeah. is annoying. We- Motherfucker trying to get some weaponizing, work. Yeah, weaponizing information for monetary purposes. We could have a whole uh, show on that one right there. But, uh, right. you know, I feel you, brother. You know what I'm saying? And what I realized, I, I could tell you honestly from being out here that the sad reality of the fact is that there's two currents that exist in this in this New York area right now. And like we said on previous shows, we just presenting the clean glass of water next to the dirty glass of the water. Everybody knows what it is. Yeah, like they're seen with Elijah and Malcolm. Thank you. And that's that that was a wise saying that actually works when you apply it. You know what I'm saying? You create the yeah. clean glass of water cuz I can't stop egos and I can't stop, you know what I'm saying, lower 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 level forces from doing what they do. They they disagree with spirit. They just want to let people listen to Phil Valentine cuz he go he go tell you what you need to hear. Ain't go ain't go be no sugar coating or none of that shit. Right. Oh yeah, I'll ask y'all. Uh, I want leave, leave your information with us because I we do have brothers in the Dallas area. You know, uh, I'm thinking about the brother Prentiss. There's other brothers in that particular area um, that are on it. You know what I'm saying? So if you shoot yeah. shoot us an email, you can shoot me the email at pmorpheus at gmail. That's p m o o r p h E U at you have a pen? Because I don't want to be Yeah, I'm writing this down right now. Okay. Yeah, P Morpheus at Gmail. You know what I'm saying? You shoot me your information and I'm gonna shoot something over to them. And more than likely somebody's gonna hear this show more than likely in the archive from that particular area and wanna link with you as well. So as long as we have your thing. I was gonna say I'm a Leo and I'm trying to see any, do you, like, do you have any? I know most people could probably have to look at a chart, but do you know anything how, how this stuff go play cosmologically on the Leo energy? Because I know Obama a Leo, and they this I'm, I'm I'm seeing that they using the Leo energy to execute all this stuff governmentally. Because he oh, is yeah. Leo. Yes, yes, Leo is um is the sun. You know what I'm saying? It's Tiparoth. It's, it's is a very key component at this particular time. Uh, we could also get you in contact with some people that could give you a direct reading because, you know, your sign, that's just a general identity. We want to yeah. get you down in point to where your planets were at in, at the time of your birth, so you got to get your chart read. And then so, once you shoot me that information, we'll be able to send you over to some people that could definitely walk you through that with some concise information and not anything generalized. Yeah, I'm going to go and get off because I'm going to let everybody else get their little holler at y'all. But, yeah, appreciate that, man. Peace. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Man. All right. Real yeah. talk. And my man just hit me on a, um, on, on, on a message while you was talking, and he's in, uh, he said he's, uh, he's two hours away from, um, from Dallas. So he sent me his number already. You know what I'm saying? It's his family around your area. So we we definitely going to have some people get in contact with you. All right? All right. Thank you. Peace. All right. Peace. Okay. All right. Let me um go to this 916-916-710. Peace. Yes, yes, it was peace. What's going on? This is high off Sacramento, man. Right? What's going on? Peace, Real bro. Red. What's going on, peace, Dr. Bro. Phil? Okay. All right. Everything's all right now, huh? <clears throat> hey, Dr. Yeah. Phil, I have a, I have a question. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I looked at one of your, uh, your videos. Uh, it was titled uh, "Stop Giving Your Energy Away," and um, you know, uh, stop giving your energy away and collect your energy. Basically, you were talking about, and at the end of it, what I recall is you said, uh, "Collect yourself," and then boom, you disappear. Can you uh, elaborate on that? <laughs> Well, first, I never made a tape that said, what did you call that? What was it called? Uh, 
it was it, it was uh, called it was a clip from well I, I guess it was a, a clip from one of your videos that you had did and it was uh, it was you in it actually yeah. and uh, you were you were talking what about what was it called you said uh, stop giving your energy away. I ain't never said nothing like that. <laughs> melanin. It was, it was talking about the 2012 melanin. Stop giving your energy away. Yeah, I was talking. Well, it must have been a bootlegger who renamed it. Oh, uh, okay. So that's yeah. What you're going to I, I, uh-huh. I I don't I didn't no. My names are brothers to tell you red, blue, Rashid. All the brothers yeah. to tell you my names are super complicated. Very intricate. Yeah, I tend to break that in that name it gives you an idea and a synopsis. But as far as stop giving your energy away, that would either have to do with me uh, looking at what they called your attention. Your attention is energy, and that's why you pay for attention. They, you pay attention. Uh, pay means to give something. You you you're actually allocating that energy over to a specific uh, concept or precept that you adopt or you buy whatever you pay attention to. Right, right. So you've been forced to pretty much pay attention to the TV, to what you've been told in education, uh, to what you've been told in church. So you bought a whole lot. You've been a consumer not realizing that before you made your even fifty or first fifty cents in allowance, that you've been paying and been a consumer from the time you were a child, and you were buying into everything that they were giving to you because you were paying your attention to it. So okay. what happens now is that you that is an energy drain. It's essentially them taking uh, your intellectual capital and not allowing you to invest it in anything for your own self interest. So when you drain your energy and you take your attention and you pay out all that attention and get nothing back from it because what you bought didn't have anything to do with your own self-upliftment, then you're losing energy. The other way, of course, is if you're just sexing and you just busting nuts all over the place because you can't and you're just a fool. And that's when you that's when you become, what I said, fucking stupid. You can become fucking stupid because you can fuck yourself stupid. Okay, understood, understood. That's been, you know, you know, went through as it, everybody goes through things like that. But my question, why I ask the question is, is, is to elaborate on, like, okay, everyone has visions. When you share your vision with other people, okay, does that give them a, a, a glimpse of who you are and as in, People uh, masking and cloning, as in when you go out, you're competing. All this competition with other people just in the simplest ways, you know, even when you're on the train. You're competing with people, as in with energy. Is that a facade? Is that real? Or is that like a, a, a movie I'm projecting or that person is projecting? It, again, it's, it's, it's stealing your attention, isn't it? Everything has to do with your attention. It goes back to your attention. Okay, so uh, I, you did hear the root of my question as in when you share your vision with someone. Well, see, you're sharing your vision. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. First things first, most people who have ideas and they're working on those ideas, if it's 